oh, how are they going to react to that? Are they going to shield it? Are they going to jump, jump up? Yep. You know, or are they going to, you know, like try to roll past that? And dealing with that, especially when you're a close range rider like Terry, how you break through Void Rocket is going to depend on how well you do in the matchup. Yeah, and this is going to be a upon Terry to get his way in. He has that he has very good um, air to air normals in forward air and air that convert into uh, combos. And Bobby needs to um, push him away. And uh, Roymer looks very confident here, getting in uh, Bobby Wasabi's face. Ooh, yeah, trying to crack shoot over it, but unfortunately not quite going to get enough height to do so. Uh, that is known as the projectile killer in Smash, but uh, it looks like Lord Rocket beating out crack shoot, a very interesting interaction. A lot of projectiles just outright lose to crack shoot. And I love the use of the dare on the balloons, because if Bobby had jumped right there, the extended hitbox of the dare might have actually connected. Yeah, the balloons extending the hitbox time and the uh, range. Great uh, tech chase from Bobby Wasabi, sending him off with that back air. Right. Yep, Ooh, there's the classic you know, tree into axe. That's going to be able to take it. Very good stuff. He was covering that uh, ledge option for me very well, so it's good to see him uh, put it in play in tournament. Oh, and yeah, you know, sometimes you'd be like, okay, I know exactly where you're planning, so I'm just going to hang back and just not let you get what you want, because that tree is eventually going to go away. Exactly. But um, on the ledge there, it's very scary, and um, now he has another tree. It's a, a whole other resource getting another move entirely, and sometimes getting a projectile to throw, an item to throw, I'm sorry. Um, so not unfortunately going to cancel into a burn knuckle in time. Yeah, he needs to find his way in here uh, with these. Um, I, I'd like to see Nairs. I think Nairs are really good in this matchup to call out these jumps from Bobby Wasabi. But oh, no, falling out of the up B. Yeah, maybe good DI from Bobby. Maybe a little bit of a, a mistiming from Weimar. But uh, he needs to make something happen here. But it, it is Terry. He could get Go Meter very soon. Right. And uh, that'll help him tremendously. And as long as he keeps his stock, he'll keep Go Meter as well. Exactly, exactly. I know Go Meter is going to be Ooh, so cool. Oh, that wow. was so scary. If that had been like one more drop of water, that probably would have been the stock too. Yeah, 93% is so scary to contest tree like that with a dash attack, but luckily not getting too punished. And right. Bas Bobby Wasabi playing exactly how he should, keeping him away at these forward airs and back airs and uh, Lloyd Rockets. Yeah. Gets a forward air. Yeah, just can't find his way in. No, Bobby Wasabi setting up this wall of pain, and you no, know, Roy Mar just hasn't found an answer to it yet. I like those attempts to um, power wave those uh, um, the tree away. It's not working out, but I, I like the approach to it a little bit more uh, defensive. But that dash attack's gonna be able to take it, and now Roy Mar has that go meter. Now the question comes down to can he make the most of it at this point? Yeah, it's so scary. Any of these uh, stronger hits from uh, uh, Bobby Wasabi, or maybe an, even an edge guard, will be able to take it. I mean, I guess the one thing that's nice about fighting against Villager is that you're not worried about dying unless it's specifically like three turnip up air or a back air. Yeah. Right? Or like a, a tree or uh, maybe um, uh, like an axe hit or something. Right. Something crazy, but they're pretty laggy. And um, Buster Wolf asking Villager, are you okay? He didn't look it like it there, but that yeah. up tilt's going to be able to take Yeah, it. up tilt. It's a very rare move to see from Villager just because it's more of a hard call out read kind mm -hmm, of move. Mm -hmm. Right. That you you know that Terry needs to get in close, so I like that. But great tech chase with that tree uh, tree fall. Right. No, I would love to see a lot more cancels of F tilt into no crack shoot. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that was so risky. Air dodging back to the stage, but getting through with that invincibility. Right. Oh, cool. went for that axe tech chase. Very uh, very aggressive call from Bobby Wasabi. There we go. Not gonna get in time for the punish. And you know what? Every time I feel like Roymar is trying to get in, he just gets hit by a pellet here and there and just keeps on racking up damage. Yeah, this is uh, really rough for him. He's not able to get in here. Um, Power Dunk is going to be able to go through that Lord Rocket attempt from Bobby Wasabi. Right. And Geyser trying to get a two for him there, but uh, nothing. I wonder if he purposely threw it out to hit the Lloyd Rocket just to extend the hurt box of it just a little bit of a fraction longer in case he normal get up immediately or jump. That's a good thing. I didn't even see that, but oh, oh that looked funny there. Yeah. <laughs> the Lloyd Rocket's going to be uh, trading with that power dunk is be able to uh, take a stock. Really unfortunate for Roy Mar, but Bobby Wasabi looking very good with that early shield breaker on on the ledge trap, and now he's looking uh, very good. Yeah. And I feel like. The Lloyd Rocket kills extra early because he forced it to explode, too. Exactly. Like, yeah. if it had just hit him, it probably would have done, like, a little bit of damage, but it wouldn't have killed him at that percent. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. but uh, what do you think he should, uh, Roymar should be doing here? I mean, a lot of things is the the conversions off of Nair, off of Forward Tilt. I feel like that's uh -huh. what separates the good Terries from the great Terries. Yeah, you know, I agree. Being able to consistently go Nair, Crack Shoot, 
or near, 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 near burn knuckle. Yeah, exactly. That's a huge one. That if you can do that consistently, now all of a sudden you have a kill confirm off of a nair at like 60. Yeah, and villager not having uh, it, like if you can get a read on the jump with uh, like maybe jumping over a forward, or you're able to right. get that conversion pretty well. Ooh, okay, oh, nope. missing the execution yeah. on that. I'm sure you wanted a power dunk there. I wonder if the tree messed up the timing for the input. You know, I didn't think about that, but you're, you could be right about that too. Double jumping over that uh, up smash attempt, and ooh, ooh Bird Knuckle's going to be sending Bobby Wasabi off stage. Yeah. I feel like that's the first time he used it offensively like that. And especially when Villager has to be very linear when he uses that pellet, means that, hey, if you can throw out the move before you can throw out his pellet, you'll be able to kill him super early. Oh, that's not going to be able to kill. Yeah. He missed two rising tackle um, opportunities there off those down tilts and jazz, but right. I think wanting a little bit more percent. Great tech chase, Lloyd Rocket. Uh, this is scary. Oh, oh, oh my god. Kite. Yeah. That was so scary. Yeah, especially since he almost died Ooh, to the Oh, what a parry. The, yeah. He almost died to what? I'm sorry. He almost died to the the watering can too. Oh you know, yeah. Cuz that has a yep. wind box. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, it traded. It, it yeah. put him in lag, but Bobby Wasabi unable to find a punish. All right. Oh, oh, he went for that axe immediately yeah. expecting him to land on the stage. Go! Can he get this kill? He's at 180. Ooh. But, oh, yeah, down air to up air. Stomp up air. Yeah. I love. I love to see that. Yeah, he's trying to get in, but you know the wall of pain is just proving too much for him at the moment. Here we go. Yeah, he wants to get a dash attack because he feels like it's the only move that will actually connect and kill. But I feel like you got to go for a different plan. Yeah, he, he needs to find those air-to-air -air nares, those down tilts or jabs to close out the stock. But he's been missing the execution just a little bit on it. So he's going for these straight hits. That's not what Terry's good at. Terry's good at confirming into those kill options. And here, throwing out these strong moves is not going to work against a villager with a lead. I feel like if you're struggling against villager a lot and you're a fast character, because I know I do this with Mac all the time, is that the second that he throws out Lloyd Rocket, try to dash past him and then uh, hit him, right? Mm -hmm. Because, oh, that was definitely a grab right there. And at 200%, you know, any of your throws was going to kill. But. And all that rage on Villager is going to be able to take the stock with that up air, and this is looking a much harder mountain to climb for Roymar. Right. And I feel like for people that aren't sure how to deal with Lloyd Rocket, you do realize that Lloyd Rocket doesn't actually have a hitbox until it starts moving. So if you're a fast enough character, you can run in, run past Lloyd Rocket, get a dash attack once you push him away from the Lloyd Rocket, mm -hmm. and then get your punish off of that. Yeah, Warimar, I don't think he knows that. Yeah. I wouldn't even know that, to be honest. But great parry on the Lloyd Rocket. Once again, missing the execution on that jab jab power dunk. And great SDI from Bobby Wasabi. You see him immediately crash after um, SDIing that down and away. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, oh, I like that yeah. a lot. I was so happy to see that. That was yeah. so cool. That was definitely a very cheeky option. No, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. Extended the combo. It's damage. I like it. I like yeah. it. Oh, oh what a forward, uh, down yeah. air, down air, yeah, down, down air. air yeah. What a down air. Jab Jack power dunk not being quite enough to take it, but he's about to get go meter. Oh, another down air to cover that jump. And Roymar now looking very pretty here. He can right. definitely bring this back. I mean, especially with go, you know, two, three combos is all it takes to kill with go. Yeah, you get that Buster Wolf 4% power geyser to kill. That's all you really need here. But um, Bobby Wasabi throwing out these aerials, keeping it very safe, not allowing Warimar any opportunity to get in here. Here we go. Oh, he went for that read on the jump, but yeah. that was suspect DI. Who's ready for that reverse uh, axe, yeah. axe swing? Especially since he threw out one axe and missed, you know? Yeah, it's like who who's going to go for another one? But 